Hi, I'm Al Lowe, creator of Leisure Suit Larry. Want to play an adventure game but not sure what to do? Just follow me. This is a graphic adventure game filled with humor. Take your time and enjoy it. If you just race to the end, you'll miss the fun. You play Larry Laffer. Control him by choosing actions for him to take. The currently active action is shown down here in the lower right corner. If this icon is active, Larry will walk to wherever you tap. If this icon is active, Larry will look wherever you tap. This icon makes him try to take or use whatever you tap on. It's also used to open, turn, and touch things. This icon makes Larry talk to whomever you tap on. He usually only talks to people and animals, but he's been known to talk to many other things. This icon makes him taste or lick things, which is sometimes necessary, but sometimes disgusting. This makes Larry unzip usually for one of two um, unsavory purposes. Expect more disgust. This shows the item from Larry's inventory that is ready for use. If his inventory is in his pockets, then this is what's in his hand. Since he's not holding anything now, it's an empty hand. But if he was ready to use his breath spray, for instance, it would look like this. This button opens Larry's inventory and shows the items he item on Larry ah, or on anything else in the game. Apple, just a buck. That's it. Now, how about a little game playing advice? Here's a hint. When you get something new in your inventory, open the inventory window and look and use it to see if it has any unusual properties or details. mistake. Hey, and that's it. Thanks for watching, and thanks for buying the game. While you're playing, try to keep us amused, will you? We're still waiting for an available server in Sim Lost Wages. Your name is Larry. Larry Laffer. You've arrived in beautiful Lost Wages without luggage. The airline lost it. Without a hotel reservation, you forgot to get one. And without a clue, you've never had one. You exit the cab. The hot, dry air of lost wages hits you in the face like a hard slap. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. After your cab ride, you may be low on funds, but you've got the looks, the lines, and the leisure suit. You're in town to find true love. And if you happen to get lucky along the way, that's okay. After all, you're nearly 40. And still a bird... Still untouched by human hands. Look out, ladies. I'm finding love tonight. It's a taxi call box. Nobody has dropped any change on the sidewalk. If you want money, you'll either have to sell yourself for sex or gamble. So, let's get gambling. Lefty's door is stout and thick just like you. Lefty's door is...
You're looking in the wrong place. It's pretty much a sausage fest here. I mean, I'm pretty, but not that pretty. You know what I mean? I sure do. No, you don't. Hey, play it again! Hello? What'll it be? I ain't selling no sissy drinks here. Try again. Gambling, grouping, and goosing. Ha ha ha! 
You're a charmer. Know any good jokes? Ain't you been listening? Yeah, that's why I asked. Be polite, Larry. Look at the man first. He's one of Lost Wages' finest benefactors. That's Jordan Lee. He's here frequently, and they say he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Curiously, in Florida, Arizona, and Montana, just to watch him die is a valid legal defense against homicide. Hey, loser! Wanna go get into some serious fucking trouble? Hey! No! That's a shame. I know some major going down tonight. It's gonna be awesome. That sounds boss. No, it doesn't. You feel a little lightheaded. You're unsure if you'll be able to walk straight. Shaking your head, you finally clear away the cobwebs and are once again able to walk in your standard studly style. Clutter fills the room, and a filthy drunk wearing filthy clothes sits on the filthy floor, leaning his filthy back against the filthy wall. To be humane to the drunk, you clap him firmly on the shoulder, stroke his head, pat his hand, and get up close to him. So tell me, how are you doing? Ah, oh, thanks for asking, buddy. I'd be just great if only my impetigo would clear up. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Seeing you holding a bush beer makes me think subconsciously that if I drink bush beer too, I'll be popular with women. Larry, you are Madison Avenue's target moron. These cartons of asbestos ceiling tiles were in a flood, so they're moldy and caked with dried sewage. You can't get closer to death in a box. 
I'm just wasting my breath talking to you, aren't I? These cartons of asbestos ceiling tiles were in a flood, so they're moldy and caked with dried sewage. You. I'm just wasting my breath talking to you. Score. You grab an ancient copy of Flutter, the magazine of nude skydiving, and settle in to sit and think. You feel a great relief. What's that aroma? Carefully finishing your duties, you wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the next user. Don't do it, Larry! Too late! The toilet begins to fill. Realizing your mistake, you quickly jiggle the handle, attempting to stem the onrushing tide of water. As the water reaches your head, your life flushes before your eyes. You doze briefly. Turns out, a flush beats everything! Sometimes good manners are a bad idea, eh, Larry? You turn on the hot tap. Immediately, steam. Technically, steam is invisible. This is water vapor, but nobody likes a narrating smartass. You notice Ken sent me. That could be important. I'll have to remember it. You grab a scrap of toilet paper and, cleverly chewing one of your fingernails to the quick, you scrawl the words Ken sent me in blood on the paper. You turn off the hot tap and the mist slowly clears. You look closely in the mirror. In this light, I can really see the blackheads. All right! You can't open it. It just hangs there mocking you. Of course, you're used to things just hanging there mocking you. People should stay as far away from these boxes as possible. Which is a shame, because it's a tiny room and people have to use it all the time. Something die in there? You give yourself a quick pat down. Got my wallet, got my breast spray, and I'm filled with Vitamin Larry. Come and get me, ladies! You try to pull up the rug. Not only doesn't it...
You know, you must be my only friend in the whole world. So uh, I'm gonna give you my only possess, my only possess, all I got in the world. Besides, what's a guy like me need with a coaster? I mean, what am I? High society? <laughs> <laughs> 